earlier, we did a lot of talking about how certain applications need certain ports to be open in order to function. Sometimes the ports that applications and certain devices need to function can be kind of random and complex. So it's too much to expect the average user to be able to configure and reconfigure his router for every device and every application on his network in order to get them to work properly. So because of this, something called Universal Plug and Play was developed. And what Universal Plug and Play is, is a standard form of communication between devices where they can basically tell each other which ports they need and when and allows them to open and close the proper ports as needed. Some see Universal Plug and Play as a security risk and prefer to keep it closed. That's a good practice as long as you have no devices on your network that need it or unless you prefer to configure your ports yourself. Still, it can be very helpful in getting certain devices to operate properly without having to do and undo a lot of complicated settings. There's really not much to configure with Universal Plug and Play. It's usually just a matter of turning it off or turning it on. The results you can expect from this setting can be unpredictable. Still, it allows a degree of flexibility when trying to allow certain devices and applications to work. If you're using network devices other than computers on your network, such as game consoles, IP cameras, network storage devices, etc., etc., you may want to experiment with enabling and disabling universal plug and play. On this router, you can see it's basically just a simple matter of turning it on or turning it off. There's really no configuration expertise needed in this. You can just turn it off or turn it on and monitor the results. This particular router gives you an actual list of the devices on your network that are actually using Universal Plug and Play. I think you'll remember this device here was our IP camera and it's using port 81 which is what we set it to. So if you have a feature like this on your router and you see something like this listed that tells you that there's really no need for you to go into port forwarding and port triggering and set up port forwarding for that device. So if we take a look at another router we'll see that the universal plug and play setting is in an entirely different place. It's just a matter of fishing around for it and you'll eventually find it. On this particular router it's under administration and down here at the bottom all we get is basically enable or disable and save our settings. So that's basically all there is to know about universal plug and play. It's just something to be aware of and if you're having a problem with an application or device on your network it's a good thing to check to see whether it's enabled or disabled. And that concludes our section on universal plug and play.